Hello out there, everybody in Webland, and Merry Christmas. I just want to share with you a few things I got myself this year for Christmas. I guess you might call this a fishing Christmas. And uh, one of my favorite things I've got this year is uh, what's behind me in the background. And that is the World Fishing Network. 24 hours a day of fishing programming. And that is fantastic. And it's right on time, too, because it's wintertime here in Ohio. And I'm uh, pretty much shut down for the, the winter. I may get out and do a little bit of ice fishing, but we're not sure yet. But uh, this is my medicine to kind of help get me through these next few months of uh, non-fishing. And let's see what else we got on the list here. I guess we'll take a look at what I'm wearing. And that is a Booyah stonewashed hat, along with the Booyah sweatshirt. Got it for half price on the web, and that was fantastic. I usually don't like going over um, 25 bucks for a sweatshirt. Also picked up the Yum sweatshirt. Not too big of a fan of red, but that's their uh, colors. But this is very nice, very comfortable. And let's see here. We got somebody's kind of scary out there in boating land. Is uh, this here? Well, this isn't scary, but this is phase four. And it's uh, for the treatment of ethanol in the gas, which is very harmful for your boat engines and any kind of small engines, really. So we're going to try this out this year. It's supposed to be better than um, the other stuff, we'll say. But uh, don't know. We'll have to try it out and see. Let's see. We have big boat sticker, nitro bass boat sticker for uh, the back one of my truck. Got to apply that sometime soon. Oh, see, uh, what I call a real boot. Covers your reel so it doesn't get damaged. Your paint don't get, your finish don't get damaged in, uh, in your boat as you're traveling to the lake, from the lake, or even on the lake. It's pretty bouncy out there, so that'll keep that looking nice. What else we got here? Uh, went up north to a buddy of mine's pond, and we were fishing for catfish. Oh, actually, I forgot what else I'm wearing. My uh, nitro jacket, black and white, just like the colors of my boat. That's going to look pretty, pretty cool this year while I'm out there. But I went up north uh, to a buddy of mine's pond and uh, to do some catfishing. And while we were waiting for the catfish to bite, I decided, well, I'm going to walk around the pond and uh, try a couple of things that I had in my tackle box, but never really used. Here's one of them, unopened. Here's the other one, opened. It's a um, Booyah buzz bait. Pretty small. I'm not sure why they made one this small, but I bought a couple of them. I always buy things in pairs. I guess kind of like the, like Noah <laughs> with uh, lures. But I threw this thing about 10 times and uh, on one cast and brought it up to the surface and in like a second the water just exploded. It looked like a bowling ball was dropped into the lake. And lo and behold, pulled out a um, three pound bass, about three pounds, three and a half, something like that, on this little guy. Well, I'm a huge uh, topwater fan, so this got my attention. Normally I throw um, the walking type baits, you know, walk the dog type baits, but when I had that hit, I decided, well, I'm gonna try some, something a little bigger, something more appropriate for a uh, big bass. And I got the Booya Counter-Strike. Started using these late this year. Had a lot of great luck with them. Is it luck? And uh, a lot of nice bass. Four pounders, three pounders, late in the season. Great, I can't wait to try uh, these next year again. Also picked up some half ounces. These are great baits. Love it. And see, also off the web, we got a couple of things I've never even heard of, but we'll give them, a, give them a try. These are really cheap. These are the uh, Creek Chub Super Knucklehead Lures. And I guess I'm, a, you know, once again, Topwater. I love that. My nickname's Topwater Tony. So we're going to try these. I'm going to throw it a few times for uh, some musky, and we'll see what happens. Got a couple different colors. So cheap I couldn't pass up. Uh, speaking of musky, May of this year, I finally got my first musky, and I'd only been trying for them since um, 
I think about November of last year. So I had about a month and a half of fishing last year and then a little bit of time this year. So in May, I got my first one on one of these. It's a slot master by uh, Jim Booker, bucktail. It pounded, I was kind of waking it along the top uh, around some weeds and got a 40 incher that just uh, exploded on the water. Cleared the water like a tarpon, I think like about three times. Luckily I had a friend, new friend at the time, uh, Mark, helped me net it because I didn't have a net and I actually still don't. But uh, I got one of three muskies this year. So I got a couple of those. I'll definitely be trying those out. And we got some Zoom horny toads. I love these around lily pads. Awesome lures. Had a lot of luck with these uh, this year. Never had one of these before. Looking forward to trying it, of course. Uh, non topwater lure, believe it or not. We got the Rap Rapala Clacken Wrap. Got one of these at the boat show. Real nice weight, nice and noisy. This should be a good uh, triggering lure for some nice bass. Looking forward to using that. I'm surprised I didn't get two. They're very cheap. Four bucks. Should have got two at least. Oh, also, Bass Pro Shops Top Knocker. Don't know if you ever heard much about these, but another big heavy lure. Nice rattle. Looking forward to trying this out too. Anything on top, I'll try it. We got a couple of um, Storm Thunder Dogs, small ones. I've had a lot of success with these. Keep stocked up on those. And we got uh, some yum beaver type baits. And of course, uh, last but not least, uh, another, um, I guess probably my second favorite way of fishing is jigs. By who else? Booyah. Got some uh, three quarter ounce football head jigs, black, black and blue brown color and it looks like a all black pig skin and uh, the regular old hair type L love these jigs love it not as much as top water but darn close so can't wait to get these wet guess it's going to be a while so i guess it's going to be uh more of the world fishing network for me for a few months and uh Hopefully soon, it'll be time to fish and get that boat out, out there and get out there and uh, do what I love to do, what I'm addicted to, and that is addicted to fishing. Take it easy.